this is Joy, your instructor. Today I'll be talking about how to play different types of spiccatos, different type of off the string bow strokes. A lot of my students have a hard time to have the um, this spring bow and depending on pieces that you're playing, some of the string bow strokes are long, some are fast. Some are multiple in one bow, yeah? So I'm going to talk about that one, how to play those. First, before you learn how to play off the string bow strokes, such as spiccato, ricochet, uh, ricochet and any other uh, bow strokes, I suggest that you work on your legato first, make sure learn to produce a nice decent sound by keeping the bow in one spot. Um, by keeping the bow for a lecture break. Once you're done with that one, then you will move on to a different type of bow stroke, such as spiccatos. Now, if you're playing uh, spiccatos rather slow, then you want to use rather closer to the frog. And when the you're using fast speaking, fast spring bows, it goes a little towards, towards the middle. So make sure um, every bow has a different spring spot so you want to try where it bounces naturally in a slow tempo, mostly around there. Then you want to keep your wrist a bit slightly high and make sure your uh, finger joint stays absolutely relaxed and just allow to bounce it naturally. Like let the both fall. Don't focus on lifting, but rather focus on let the bow falling on the string. Yeah. The same idea or similar idea goes also about fast spiccatos by moving your bow a little closer to the middle part. Here your wrist comes down a bit more, but the idea is same. Don't focus on lifting because there's no lifting at all, but rather just move your bow light, but using your finger joints, move it rather quickly. And then you will find a spot of the bow where your bow stick bounces naturally. Like that. And when you want to do multiple uh, spring bows in one direction, just in this time you need to throw your bow uh, really to the string. There's a where bow bounces naturally. Try to do that. So you're not holding your bow very firmly, but you're relaxing your uh, finger joint and let the bow fall like that. Yeah? And do a couple times. And see if you can have exact number. Let's say two. Two again and three. Now four. And so on. So I hope this helps a lot and happy speak out and play. Bye!